Hi guys, it's me Erica, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these mini versions of uniforms from well-known sports animes such as Princess Stride, Free, Kuriko no Basket, and Haikyuu. Hang them on a small clothesline to add a cute piece of decor in your room, or increase the size of them to make a sign to support a friend or family member during one of their actual sports match. So let us get started. The supplies you will need are construction paper slash cardstock paper and printer paper, marker slash paint, scissors, a glue stick, twine, and mini clips. For the signs, you will need the first four set above, plus a picture of the person you are sporting, wooden sticks, and industrial strength glue. So the first step is to actually find templates of basic shirts, jackets, and whatnots for the uniforms online and then print them out. You can do freehand of the shapes, but it's so much easier to actually trace them and cut them out. If you want to use the templates I used in the video, a link in the description will be down below. So the first one we'll be making is the jacket worn by the Honan Stride team in the current Winter 2016 anime, Prince of Stride. So first, using a jacket template, trace and cut out the shape on a piece of white cardstock. After that, with a pencil, draw out the designs that are found on the jacket. This is best done by using a reference picture to make sure you get the jacket as similar as you can make it. I would usually use construction paper for this type of thing, but I didn't really have the right color for it, so I decided just to use marker. But personally, I think it looks nicer with construction paper or cardstock paper. After the lines are done, go ahead and draw the logos on the jacket. I couldn't fit Honan High School's Stry Team, so I just shortened it to Honan's Stry Team. And for the symbol, I just made a six-pointed star and added lines to the sides. And for all the jackets and shirts and whatnots, I just decided to do the front because those were the ones I was just going to display. So you can do the back and front, it's your choice. Then after that, you're finished with the Princess Stride jacket, and we're gonna move on to the next one, which is my favorite, the Free Iwatobi Swim Club jacket. For this one, you'll be needing a jacket template again to trace out and cut the pieces of white, dark blue, and light blue cardstock. You obviously don't need to trace out the blue and light blue cardstock. With the template, I just find it easier and it gets the proportions right when you cut. Taking the dark blue, trace out the lining of the jacket by looking at a reference picture of the jacket. I really don't know how to explain this, so it kind of looks like the Sailor Neptune symbol, if that helps any, <laughs> if that helps anyone. So yeah, it's best to just look at the reference picture. Then taking light blue, cut out the strips to put on the side of the jacket. And then once everything is cut, go ahead and glue the pieces down. And finally, with a red marker, draw a circle and a bird shape under it for the jacket symbol. Then you are finished with the jacket. Now we're going to move on to Kuriko's uniform from Kuriko no Basket. So for his uniform, use a basketball tee template to trace and cut out the shape on pieces of white, black, and red cardstock. So taking the black tee, first make a line on the side until you kind of reach the armpit area where you will want to make a hump. And then do that on both sides or fold and cut it out. And then also make a V for his collar. Then with the red, take the black piece we just cut out to outline the red which is slightly larger and also fold and cut the sides and make a larger v-shape for his collar. Then glue the pieces onto the white tee. Using a red marker, outline the word Satan and the number 10 or whatever number you want before filling it in with black sharpie.
Then after that, you're finished and we can move on to the hiking uniform. Taking a t-shirt template, trace and cut out the shapes on pieces of black and orange cardstock. With an orange t-shirt, fold it in half and draw a curve on the side and also a collar. Then cut and with the collar, cut in the middle to make kind of like a triangle shape and then once you're finished you can glue. Then using white paint or liquid whiteout, outline the sides with white. Then draw the number you want onto the uniform and also all the symbols. Don't worry if you can't get it right, it's really hard to get it right and also paint it over with. And then outline the numbers and symbols with white. Then after that, you're finished with the uniforms on the clothesline. Then we can actually assemble it! Using twine and small clothespins, attach the uniforms onto the line. And after that is finished, attach the clothesline to any piece of furniture you want or onto your wall for that kind of cute decor that feeling. <laughs> Finally, we'll be moving on to the final project, which is a sign you can actually take to support a friend or a family member that actually plays the sports in real life, unlike me who's really bad at playing them. I actually took this to my cousin's volleyball game, hence why I decided to go for the hikey theme, but it can apply for any other sport. So for the most part, the process is the same for the t-shirt, except that it's way larger and I also made shorts for the uniform. So using a shorts template, cut out the shorts on a black piece of paper and then glue orange stripes to the side and then outline it with white paint and then glue the shorts onto the bottom of the shirt. Then using a picture of your person you want to support, cut their head out and paste it onto the body. After that is finished, take sticks and glue them onto the back for support and also making a handle. You will need strong glue for this because you will be waving this around and you don't want to like make it fly off. Then after that, you're done with all the projects. I personally suck at sports, but with this, you can support your love for the 2D versions of them. If you have any questions, do not be afraid to ask. If you try this DIY or the many featured on this channel, be sure to use the hashtag ILADIYs on Instagram, Twitter, or Tumblr. Thank you so much, you guys, and see you next time. Bye.